it because I had a garbage idea since I wanted to teach a player to be better with rings so this stuff is still perfect since you cannot really despawn the floor so you can do this practice section you know where you practice ring glitch you kind of see that you jump can jump higher on the right side than on the left also some stuff to discover to around then the normal climb maybe go through a hole maybe I put the ring high enough that you, you can't get hit by swinging but it looks so close so you should get scared there there's another ring glitch that's not that easy and here you can actually choose more or less how you solve this yeah I thought about graphics and explaining things but I've made some different decisions maybe I show it off and talk about it while playing uh, should I just full screen here I think it's good enough just to start out in this level you cannot change weapons, but I had. I also made a title parkour cave, so you know we have to do parkour. Um, later we'll give you an item. Where is it? This things are here. I don't. I need to try that. Out. Probably over here. Yeah, I haven't given any color to this, but the idea behind this weapon is that I make. I haven't done it yet, but I will do the cooldown how fast it hits. It does only 10 damage right now. I can give it some cool graphics. You have always this zip. And later you can have this one where you can actually collect links so it gets longer it should get longer than the normal whip maybe this is pretty long though but i don't want to go shorter since it's a good lens to yeah do parkour stuff and main goal is just to make make it fun to fun to learn and get better at the game Mainly the one I do, and you can really fail at this like horribly, and nothing really bad happens. So that's good. You can play around. Maybe this needs explanation. I'm not sure. Can you die here? <laughs> no. Even I fail it sometimes. So see, yeah, you can't jump really high here. That's crazy. Sometimes when you do stuff like this, you surprise yourself how high you can go. I really made this much lower. I don't want to be, it, but this one I really want to be just the high you can reach. I have to say state since you can die here. Not sure, but I wanted to have the, the player can actually toy around with this section. You know discover find something here. Before I had to cross here but I thought I'd just move it over here since this jumps a bit it seems a bit harder. if you wanted to go back 
actually would need to at some point I kind of would like to teach this move to players oh you can also get it like this it's kind of nice Do you see those things as soon as we start swinging? But then you walk here. Especially with the uh, additional text. Kind of hard to see, but. Yeah, I made this move a bit harder. If you want to get it, can you can't get, also get like, okay, get it, just whip it like this. Could also get it with the sub weapon. And I made the ring glitch up here a bit harder, <laughs> putting something like stalactite. Uh, really annoying. <laughs> the best bet would probably be to ring glitch to a lower ring and just do that. I do that move, but <laughs> yeah, it's just it's like this. So uh, I forgot where my stop button is. <laughs> How did you get down there? <laughs> you shouldn't be down there for a while. I know when you go up and down the collision. You know, spawns in and out, and skellies do get trapped below. Yeah, this is the move where you actually can. Oh, this one can walk <laughs> off. <laughs> That's kind of funny too. The idea is that the. Oh, from this side you can die, wait. That's interesting. This is also interesting. How did I. Yeah, probably missed it. <laughs> Normal, just didn't pay enough attention. A bit the axe this is also much easier to get, I guess. True, true. Oh. Yeah, sometimes that this doesn't work, so you need to try more than once, maybe. From this side, I cannot get hit. But if I do the action from this side, I made a safe state. You can get hit. Now I could get hit. Wow. It depends if you come from a jump. Does it matter? That's interesting. If I. What does it make? If I move back. Doesn't matter. That's well, kind of cool that this just works. <laughs> it's so weird though. I usually hit this one as collision, but he should also be able to jump. But he will not jump because I should make a hole there. So he gets the idea, maybe jump up here, instead of walking off. Maybe just do this very quick. Um,
Where is the skull again? It's the last one. Huh? Here, hole. Is there a. Oh, we can just turn those. Should look fine. Can you jump that high? That's the other question. If I move everything up, and that's stupid too. But like this, he should get the idea. Just jump, house the candle. I don't even have candles down here. Yeah, because he throws bones, sometimes it's really annoying if you cannot defend yourself because of can oh, cancellation. Also, there are not really interesting things to, you know, put on places. I did, haven't done anything with the top on chill. Still thinking about what I could do. Also, should I do fix graphical stuff? Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I probably do too much. Yeah, but it's always, it's easy to make, you know, I could move the ring further out, but I put them in a place where it should really ease, be easy, just learn this stuff, you know, since most people have never done ring glitches, so just bad at it, you too, you want to, want to have, be able to have a full extent whip, so you just need to Whip down. I'm sure you need to face the right direction. But you just stick so you can make this jump. Also, uh, I need to hide this. Uh, I don't like the background that much here. And this is also very friendly. The birds are kind of. If you fail to make it, you can still save yourself. I'm still curious, can you... Oh, true. Yeah, if you jump with, you need to. Hey, Retrochat. Haven't seen you. Yeah, the idea behind uh, this project here is I uh, make it mostly on stream, but it just takes long. So I thought I will <laughs> just do the level and actually show what I had to do to make it work. Haven't done much of the show, showing the things. I had a stream earlier where I showed how I set up to have good code, but it's also a bit boring stuff. For the level, I really just had to 
make the camera this value, you know, make it longer. And there are particular these events where, yeah, clusterfuck, I know. Huh. You know, 31. Just adjust them to the. But they're almost like in the original. Just uh, change the trigger points. <laughs> like this value, where it goes, or where it compares to. So another project that really is involved or a lot of work. It's just something I want to get out as quick as possible. New levels, you know, parkour, get players good at the game. Also new mechanics, I have this whip, you can upgrade, you can make it longer and longer and then this, I haven't put graphics on it. But then a new kind of whip that should just, you know, destroy everything very quickly. It's also harder for ring stuff since it's all wobbly. But it will be very strong since I will remove the time where it can't hit stuff. So it hits very quickly. Should feel good too. Other castle? Yeah, I rework it actually. There is quite a few addi addition. Oh. And show this off too. But haven't gotten too far since I really wanted to have the bosses changed up a little bit or explain things different to the player. But we will leave the level design and stuff mostly the same. Also, in the beginning, I mean, it's not really useful, but when you go on this block and just talk, you can sit. <laughs> Someone. Just on from hacking.net, just <laughs> mailed me <laughs> that there is weird stuff I should remove it. I thought, oh no, that's cool actually. <laughs> I haven't found that myself. Yeah, other castle is mostly good. I think there are f a few levels that really suck that uh, have big design flaws, and uh, I will fix those. But for the first stage, the first stage is good, I feel like. Just, you know, do the boss changes. And I have also wanted to have the potion be a bit different. I haven't recoded it, but... Maybe show it off here very quick. This is bad, since you can't just destroy it once. But there should be another item in there, and then you can go to this man and give it to him, and maybe he will explain actually how what this potion does and stuff. But the idea is that you get the potion here. So you can make the jump over here. Then get this. <laughs> They are still flaw flawed. Yeah, see before it's cool. I mean I grow up with the game, that's why I still do stuff. And I also think it has a lot of potential actually to doing hacks. Also I need to fix the old man there. <laughs> so he cannot despawn. Right now he can because Oh this one can still hit you. It's interesting, but it's also bad if you get hit while talking. <laughs> and if you actually leave the screen, can you break it? I'm curious now. Yeah, he can break it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix a lot of stuff still. The only way you get rid of the text is actually to just talk to him again. Or die. Now dying doesn't work either. <laughs> True, true. <laughs> oh, I get hit way too much. No, I still haven't mu made much progress with music. It would be really cool to make music for this game. I have looked into it for sure, but 
you need to be able to program stuff in the end to you know converting uh, from MIDI or something trackers you cannot start talking true ah I need to fix this so bad <laughs> Yeah, what I plan to do with other castle, maybe just go over the biggest design flaws, since you still like it, and maybe you can say what you don't like about it. So for the beginning, yeah, it's okay. I hear the thing, that's <laughs> not that good. This stage is, the secret is so bad. I will sh for sure change it up, make it more interesting and maybe yeah, have it feel rewarding and stuff. This stage is so bad. I will change up the secrets. I already put the uh, platform here so you can choose your path more or less since it's annoying. Otherwise, and for especially the frogs, there's so much stuff that's so annoying in this stage. Yeah, that's still not good. Probably put the platform higher. You know, change up the secret, go home. I mean, I have put here the text, so it should warn you not to go too far or you go home. That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, and they have a different do boss fight that's all strange. You know, you need to change this up. Also, probably just go to event, so you have a checkpoint up here. Once you made it here, so you just have to stretch where you fight the boss. And this weird stuff where you pick up the mushroom, I think the idea is cool, or maybe I rework it too. But the thing is not just, you know, talking about music. It's not just have the MIDI, you need to convert the MIDI to the music file. Sure, it could be done eventually, but it will take longer. Would be cool if somebody would join CV4 hacking, who is really more, you know, knows how to code. <laughs> because I have to learn everything, and it just takes time. Yeah, what else is bad here? My this level is mostly kind of vanilla, but... Yeah, like, this, the secret is not... It's a cool stage here. But also, does it have to get off the midway point, like... I still like the stage, though. It's not bad. I wish I would... This... Make this a bit bigger. I think uh, I really like the layout with the skulls and everything. I kind of left it the size how it was. With the little alcove here you can go. But kind of cool, but I need to do more here to probably move this. Maybe have a secret way you can advance and maybe talk or get some background information on story or something. Are you sure you can talk to chip tune artists? But mostly they just make music for chip tune. They have their setups and making music for a game is just a different story again. Because Super Castlevania it has its own game a uh, uh, music engine. Yeah this stage sucks too here. There's a lot of stuff that just to rework it a little bit. But this stupid secret nobody knows about them. <laughs> the cool stuff is usually you enter the room here. But if you take the secret path, you get in here. And this is actually kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. And what really sucks, I mean. Uh, it already starts here, sometimes the levels are really just too difficult. But uh, frustrating to play. 
tell you exactly know what you do like in this cold stage there needs to be a midway point around here because I don't know most people die here and I think this section is really cool where you go below but I did see a lot of people have troubled so I removed spikes in the easy version I should just get the player more familiar with Summer with you know how, how to do this rings action without being too punishing yeah this stage really needs changes <laughs> I feel like I think it's I like to play it but I made it and I know exactly what to do but it's so frustrating if you enter it first time You know, stuff like this could just be parkour, where you go to the rings and maybe just move the Medusa's to second quest. I think that's how I solve it, you know. So have it not to be... Or like this is a troll ring actually back here and it should just be 8 or 60 pixels more to the right. So you could do a full swing and whip up, but it's made that you... Do a full swing whip up and you just miss it by <laughs> put this by purpose before it had it all nice and then I thought it is too easy. But it's in the end of a very frustrating long stage. It shouldn't be there. Not in a hack leg like this. Yeah the mummy is here too. The setup for this stage where you enter here. Those skeletons will fall down because collision stuff. You should just do it different. But I could do. I did what I could do. How to convert? And maybe I can just show you how music more or less looks like. Hmm. Do I have the music stuff in here too? Um, let's see it. I should have have it somewhere. I thought I put it in every code folder, but I think I removed those since I'm still working on it. Oh damn. This is very old stuff here. I mean, I have it also in ADD. Cat champ. I don't have cats. <laughs> Sadly, I wish I had. You know. This is distinguish. My goal is to have a full source with this, but I need to, you know, those labels actually don't make sense everywhere. I need to export. I mean, the, the tool is not really finished, it's still in the works too, but it can produce very good code actually. You can just export it, disassemble, 
current pills. Then we can look at music very quick. This is in bank. As the pointers are in eighty one. Look at this very quick. There are different pointers. And then we have long pointers that go to here. FO. Not sure if I have done too much in here actually. I should I need to look at the, the other music sheet. But in the end I still have to figure out the different envelope and stuff. You know how pitch what sample to choose and Yeah in the end you have a file uh, it's too, uh, kinda stupid that I don't have here. But it just converts, you know, this and have a MIDI file that looks kind of similar, then you need to program actually as a thing that converts one value to the other, output it somewhere, and then you need to put it into the ROM and all this kind of stuff. But oh well. Hmm. Should I just play my test play my hack again? Or work on it a bit more? Since the first section is done, the really cool thing about that project, yeah, it should be a tutorial hack. I haven't named it anything yet, but it should give if somebody wants to hack, you know, it should give him a nice setup. Actually, <laughs> I don't wanted to do a video so you could like, see. How to do something? Yeah, the first stage will be this one. Yeah, and you start out just with this leather whip. I don't know, maybe two stages and then you get the next whip. But the first stages I really want to focus, get the player better at parkour stuff, like this one. Here we have unpunishing section to practice things like this. So you don't just fall down <laughs> and die. And this didn't took too long, I mean it was like two hours of work or just to the level sure the setup was, was way more. I wanted this carry now I wanted the other carry to be able to jump. <laughs> I don't like when they walk on spikes down there. <laughs> Guess it is how it is right now. Yeah, it's very boring format. I don't know. It would be good to just have a tutorial where you go over things, but you need to prepare this video. So you can kind of go through quickly. If this is even needed, I don't know. It would also be good just to have a text tutorial with pictures, probably better. You know, there is always, from with this editor, you should have some notes, so you know what stuff does. And the best thing is if you know how to read source code right now. But this kind of should be open for everybody. 
So should, you should need, not need to know how to code, just to make some levels. And have maybe some patches in there, you know. Yeah, this is very funny. If you go from this side, you just die. The hitboxes are kind of different. Also, if you go from the air, you die. Oh, I should kill that one, huh? Damn. <laughs> but you can swing fully extended like this. Nothing happens. If you're above, from above, then... Also, if you go from the other side, kills you. If you stand from the other side, like this and limp it, it kills you. If you limp it from here, I'll kill you too. Oh well. Learned something new. <laughs> so it doesn't kill me like this. Still kills me. That's kind of funny. <laughs> How those hitboxes work. Doesn't make much sense somehow. Yeah, this is just kind of cool, I think. And by now you have done an offering, so... You shouldn't get up there, that's good. So, I have, I have mo not much ideas for the next section yet. Probably work with platforms. Or copy something from another hack, since this is not changed at all yet. That's the wrong room. <laughs> I switched folders. Yeah, I probably go the same, change the enemies around, think about what enemies I want to use. But I try to leave most stuff in here, just do stuff. The things I have in here. Probably make it a second parkour. Just a bit harder. <laughs> you know, when you have platforms and rings. Would, would you know how to put rings in now? Like, if you have this stage, you have this strange pointer thing here. Don't know if this makes much sense to you. But in the end you want to go where, where there is the swamp. And there is some space too. How you can tell that there is space is... Maybe I should show it on the... on here. Not tile map, I actually wanted to have the tile viewer. <laughs> ah, that's right. You see, I have the skelly and there are two slots open. When Simon is slot zero and the enemy start at uh, 6a, it's just... And you, this, the first two guys actually just tell the where to go, and this is the pointer of the graphics. So what you can do is just copy this here, the ring. We we'll insert it 
in here. The first byte. The plant uses one slot, so it's seven E. All right, it's just still open. I oh yeah, just have to. No, it's just one slot open. Like to like to put it down here. Sadly, you cannot really. It doesn't show you memory addresses addresses. Or maybe here. Not really. But it should kind of make sense. And also the. And needs to have this FF, so it, it knows it's finished with loading. And you need also to put the event ID for the ring is free. Like if you go here, you just look up the event ID of a ring free. Put it in here. And the first byte of this table, this is already will tell how, the, how big the size is. So Make it a bomb bigger one. I want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it should just work. I can close this. Patch it. Open the editor again. Um Go to our swamp. I changed the wrong thing. <laughs> but then I had the rings, but then I don't know the platform itself uses those colors. I don't know if it looks horrible if you just change it. Would be to have cool to have red rings here. Try to change all the colors just to red. I need two more. Yeah, you see how it starts to change. Hmm. Maybe you can also change the graphics a bit later to make it look better again. I'm not aware of anything else that uses this palette. Oops. I think I changed it in the wrong room. Let's see again. Because there I changed the uh, code. Yeah, I did. I, I will change this one since when I change flip mechanics and stuff that the editor doesn't like my changes. <laughs> I have to redo it. Maybe it's not the worst since I will probably go for green. So this or brown. This would still look good. Let's see how it is with green. Hmm. 
Maybe I should just do darker rings here. Not a fan yet. <laughs> Make this almost black. I don't like it. But like this, you could actually test it on. <laughs> But without the, the other weight mechanic happening. It doesn't look too bad though. But this is one of those screens that are gonna look weird because of the background. Huh? I need to see. I don't know how I want to name it. <coughs> frogs, I don't like that, frogs. Put the Nairman's Modern Monster in it. It's a great enemy actually. Kind of predictable and cool to make it it's just a bit harder. Probably will go with that one again. Yeah, I think I go offline, do the levels and probably tell about how I did it. <laughs> Since I, I do a break now and I can just work better without being live. Okay, thanks for tuning in and yeah, see you around. Oh, my mouse is... <laughs> 